Hey guys, I was thinking of going to, um, oh, I had the unstable unicorns already, but it's not working the video for some reason every time I upload it to the Patreon, so if you guys have any idea of how I could fix that, let me know, I'd love to get some advice, but today we're going to do a different one, just so I have it ready for you guys for Wednesday, like I, like I promised, um, it's called a spat it cool can eh um so you can get these on timu is what I, where i got it from you can probably get it on amazon as well um i was just i just wanted to try timu out for the first time and since i was uh thinking about doing a podcast like a gaming podcast like i'm doing right now i thought i would order from timu just out of curiosity so let's go let's start with with the game rules what spot it spot it consists of 30 cards each showing six symbols between so these 30 cards here between any two cards there is always one and only one matching symbol get ready to spot it before you start playing if you've never played spot it before familiarize yourself with the game by drawing two cards two random cards and placing them face up on the table so that everyone can see them. <clears throat> Find matching symbols between the cards. So here's this one. So it is a Christmasy one. And we'll go with this one. Okay, so obviously I already see two. Can you see two? Because I can see. Well, oh, no, never mind. I think they have to be the same size. Anyways. Draw two cards at random and placing them face up on the table so that everyone can see. Find the matching symbol between these card these two cards. Same shape, same color, only the size may be different. Okay, so it is the same. The first player to spot the matching symbol must call out its name and draw Two new cards, play, uh, placing them face up. So, say there's a bunch of us playing, which I'm hoping to have that one day. It'd be like a two-hour thing. That would be fun. So here's the second, third one up, or the first one that I pull, and <coughs> second one. <coughs> okay. The first, blah, 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 placing them on the table. Repeat these steps until all players complete, clearly understand that there is always one and only one matching symbol between any two cards. Playing the game, flip the card, the center card face up. Simultaneously, players try to spot the one symbol that appears on both the center card and one of their cards. <coughs> as soon as you find your match, Call it out and place your matching card on the card center or on the center card. Then players use the new center card to find a new match. Continue until one player runs out of cards. Winning, winning the game. The first player to run out of cards um, wins. So, <coughs> object of the game. No matter which mini game you're playing, the goal is to always, always to be the fastest player to spot the matching symbol between two cards and call it out. The mini game Spot It uh, is a series of fast, challenging mini games in which all players act simultaneously. You can play them in any order or play any um, play your favorites. The main goal is to have fun. It can be helpful to play a few practice rounds to make sure everyone understands the rules. The player who wins the most mini games is the overall champion. If there is a toss up, the first player to call out the name of the symbol wins. In case of a tie, the first player to take place or the card wins. Tied or first, and if number two, if two players are tied for first at the end of the game, the two players have a face off. Each player will draw one card and flips it <coughs> face up simultaneously. The first player to spot the matching symbol. Between the card and it call and call it out and call it out wins. If three or more cars are tied, 
cards are tied. Play one round of a mini game of your choice to determine the winner. So here are the symbols that we will have to find. I'll give you a better look. <laughs> Hide and seek. One preparing. Oh, you can play. Oh. So there's. Hold on. There's four different games out of this. So number one is hide and seek. Preparing the game, place up four cards, which are already there, in each, in front of each player, or six cards depending on the player's age. Place one card face down in the middle. Okay. So say there's four cards in front of us each, and there's one face down. I'm not looking. <clears throat> in the middle of the table and return the remaining cards to the box. So I see. So it goes. So this is how it's supposed to look. I like how they throw pictures there. So playing the game, flip the center card face up, simultaneous player to the symbol that appears full. Okay, wait. Simultaneously player to 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 spot. Okay, wait. Flip the center card face up. Simultaneously player try to spot the one symbol that appears on both the center card and one of their cards. As soon as you okay, so those four cards that are facing in front of you are your cards. So you gotta find one that was with the center, and one that is not. So the Santa isn't going down the chimney. I see. So I said, say I said that first. Uh, there's on both center card alone. So one symbol that appears on both the center card and one of their cards. As soon as you find your match, call it out. Then flip your match card facing down. Continue playing until the until one player has flipped all their cards face down. What is the game? The first player to flip all their cards face down wins. So that was really easy to explain there. So I'll show you. So. This one was the center one, and this one was the Santa. So I, I, uh, and it could be different sizes, just that can be different colors, or of course, different objects. But these two here, okay. So this one was mine, this one was in the middle, or no, vice versa. So I'm gonna flip this one down and keep the middle up. So that is my winning card. So you want to get the four down. <laughs> Game number two. This is where, why I got confused. So ignore like the beginning of me trying to explain it. That's hide and seek. Game number two, peas in a pod. Preparing the game, it's the same way you prepare hide and seek. Right? Yeah. It's the same way you prepare hide and seek. So I'll show you here. Okay. That's how you prepare it again. Uh, I don't know. Object of the game to be the first player to get rid of all of their cards. So, playing the game, flip the center card. So we'll just use the same cards again. Flip the center card face up. Face up. Simultaneously, players try to spot the first symbol that appears on the center card and one of their cards. As soon as you find your match, call it out and then place your matching card on the center card. Then players use the new center card to find a new match. Continue playing until one runs out of cards. So for example, we see this, the that's the center one. I see a snowman on mine here. So then I say, okay, I see a snowman. Call, call it out first and it's two on the center there, as you could see in the picture here. Okay, game number three <coughs> that is called the tower. So preparing the game, deal one card face down to each player. So one card face down, another card face down. Place the remaining cards face up in the middle of the table from the draw pile. So you would do a whole pile here. All these on top. I'm being lazy. <laughs> now, 
to collect and now the object of the game is to collect the most cards so playing the game simultaneously flips flip their cards face up and try to spot the one symbol that appears on both the center so this is what it kind of looks like this is the picture of how to set it up and this is the picture on how to play <clears throat> Playing the game simultaneously, flip players flip their cards face up and try to spot the one symbol that appears on the center card and their own card. As soon as you find your match, call it out, then take the center card and place it face up on top of your flip card from a personal pile. Now use the new top card on your personal pile to find a match with the new center card. Continue playing until the draw pile runs out of cards. Winning the game, of course, with the player with the most cards. So, okay, wait. Let's see. Playing the, their cards face up and try to spot that appears on the center and their own card. As soon as you find your match, call it up and take the center of the card and place it face up on top of your flip cards. Okay. And <laughs> two more different ways to play the game. And then we're done. Game four, preparing the game. Place one card face up. Okay, so face up. This is how it's supposed to look. At the bottom right here. Okay, and then this is probably how you'll win. Or how you'll keep track. So, it's called the well. Place one card face up in the middle of the table. Deal the remaining cards face down as even as possible among the players, so from their personal draw pile. These cards from their personal draw pile, so these, so we would say they're face down. These, okay, object of the game be the first to get rid of their cards, so playing the game simultaneously, players flip the entire draw pile over, piles over to see their face, oh, so they are face up. I'll read that again. <laughs> Playing the game simultaneously, players flip their entire draw pile over so they they are face up. If you are the first player to spot the matching symbol on both your top card and the center card, call it out and place your card on top of the center pile. It immediately becomes the new center card. Use the new card revealed on your personal pile to find a match with the center card. Continue playing until one runs out of cards, winning the game is to be the first one to run out of cards. Okay. <clears throat> Number five, the poison gift, and this is the last one we'll go through. Um, the poison gift, preparing the game, so this is how you prepare it. The pictures here should usually help. Deal one card face down to each player. Place the remaining cards face up in the middle of the table from the draw pile and to and the object of the game is to have the fewest cards. Um, playing the game simultaneously, players flip their cards face up. Players look for a match between the center card and another player's card. If you spot a match, call it out. Then take the center card and place it on top of the other player's card on which you found the match. This is the poison gift because you give an unwanted card to an opponent to the revealed card on the draw pile becomes a new card that players use to find a match. Continue playing until the draw pile runs out. Winning the game is the the few the player with the fewest cards wins. Double credits a game by Dennis Blanchett, Jax Cottero, and Play Factory with help from the Play Factory team, including Jean Francois, Andriani, Toussaint, Benedetti, Gulam, Gil, Nevs, and Igor Pelushin. I don't know if I said it right, sorry if I didn't, but. Oh, what happened here? It is really nice to, um, to, be, to be able to go through these games with you guys. It's lots of fun. One day, like I said, I'm going to have a pile of people playing these games so that we can go through the instructions but also play along with you guys and entertain you guys because I love entertainment and and why not have fun stuff mm. like this. So this is Spot It. You can get it on Timu. I'm sure you could get it at <coughs> like a craft store nearby or 
Amazon. Like, I don't see why you couldn't. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, I had another one. I did Unstable Unicorns, but I couldn't get that to upload to Patreon. So if you guys have any idea of how I could fix that, please let me know. You have an awesome day. Thank you. Bye now.